As you make your precision shooting journey, there are so many things you can collect along the way. But there are some things that are essential. A good shooting mat so you can stay comfortable. Good chronograph so that you can measure velocities. A toolkit at home and in the range bag to work on things like your gun and your optic. You need to know how far you're shooting? It's where a good range finder will come in handy. Spotting scope to see your hits and your misses. Good rest, a rear rest you must have. And on your front rest, you can either go with a stationary type like this or a bipod that clips onto your gun. At some point, you want to look into some positional shooting, a good tripod will come in handy. There's one accessory that you absolutely must have, and that's your cell phone. It's the one must-have accessory, and that's because of the ballistic app. I'm here with Greg Sloan. Greg, how are you? Good, how are you? Excellent. So tell us about the ballistic app and how it's made a difference for new shooters and advanced shooters. Like you said, a cell phone, everyone has one, so it puts a ballistic app in everybody's hand. You know, that way we can calculate what's going on downrange. We put in all the inputs, it's gonna give us good outputs, and that way we can make hits at extended distances. Okay, so I'm gonna input some data, it's gonna do some calculations, and then we should be able to press the trigger and hit at distance. Yep, it's gonna help us get on target a lot faster. That sounds incredible, let's give it a shot. All right, let's do it. All right, Greg, uh, we're at 300 yards, and we wanna put a hit down on this steel. So we've got our velocity already. Okay. I've got that inputted. All right. We got our atmospheric conditions. Their input as well. It's calling out, we're gonna come up 1.1 mils. That's from our 100 yard zero. So we're gonna dial a tourist up 1.1 mils. Lock that down. All right, got an impact. All right, that didn't seem too hard. Where can we go from here? We can step out to 700. All right, we're calling 4.7. 4.7. Seven. We're starting to get a little bit of wind. Okay. Uh, let me calculate this. Let's go 0.3. We got a left to right. Okay. So I'm at 4.7. Going to hold left 0.3. Impact. There's the ding. Wow, that, that app seems to really be putting us on. Um, I think we can go a little further. All right, let's just step it out to 1,000. All right. See what we get. If you want to come up 8.2 mils. 8.2. Impact. Right out of the gate. There you go. Impact awesome. of 1,000. <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, let's look at a more traditional cartridge. Let's look at the 308. Let's try it out and see what it'll do at range. All right, should we go out to 700? 700 it is. All right, let's come up 16 MOA. 16. The wind pretty much just stopped on us. Okay. Let's just hold center, no wind, right. and we'll true up our elevation. Good press. Good hit. Nice. Go out to 1,000. All right, let's do it. All right, let's try 28.6 MOA. That sounds gargantuan. 28.6. All right. Good press. Impact. I can completely see the impact through this glass. It's crystal clear. All right, so that's pretty good. A thousand yards, 308, first round hits. I mean, this thing's doing everything really well. The optic is tracking right. But we've got all this space. I'd like to push this out a little bit further. I mean, is there something else that we can try? You know, we've got a mile plate out there. Uh, the 308's not gonna do it. It's gonna go subsonic by a mile. Okay. Uh, the 65, it's gonna be marginal. We're gonna start to go transonic. All right. Um, but you know what? I've got something for you. All right, Greg. So what do we have here? All right, so we've got a 6mm Creedmoor. This is the new 112 grain match burner uh -huh. loaded in the precision match ammo. We've got a G1BC, a 624 and with the muzzle velocity of about 2960. Okay. So it's flatter shooting, higher BC. It's gonna retain the velocity better downrange. And you know, we're clocking in 1290 plus at a mile. So we're supersonic. Let's we'll see what we can do with it. All right, she's beautiful. The app's telling us to come up 16.7 mils. 16.7. Yeah. It's gonna take a little doing. 
know, we've got a pretty good calm. Uh, at that distance, you know, we're definitely getting some spin drift, some other effects. Let's hold about half a mil left to right. All right, we're on. That one was about three feet on the left side. All right. Your elevation actually looked really good. Okay. I'm gonna call impact on that one. One mile. The great mile with six Creedmoor. This rifle doesn't have a muzzle break and the recoil is, uh, is so manageable. Yeah, you know, normally when we're out here at a mile, we're shooting 338s. <laughs> you know, to do it with a 6mm, it just holds it on. It's flash shooting. We've got a nice impact 6mm Creedmoor at a mile. I'll tell you what, Greg, I'm impressed. It's just amazing what this stuff can do. It's a long shot, but completely capable. High BC, like I said, the 112 grain. You know, in the scope, we had a ton of mirage. It's hot out here today. We thought we had a couple impacts. It was hard to tell. When you got the right tools, we got a great optic. We got amazing performing ammunition. We got the ballistic calculator that got us on here. I mean, it's, it's really impressive. I gotta say, thank you for this time. It's, it's really been a, a big eye opener. No problem, it's been a fun day at the range. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.